Hi everybody, welcome back to Darlingborough Model Railway. In my video last week, I removed the rocky bridge section from my layout. Once I've done that, I cut it up. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're wondering why I did that, the best thing to do would be to watch last week's video. The link will be up here. Once you've done that, come back and watch the rest of this video. I have had a lot of feedback ever since I did that video and it came out. Thank you very much for all of the feedback. I do appreciate all of the comments and all of the suggestions. It really, really helps when I'm working on the layout because sometimes I get comments and suggestions, something I haven't even thought of, and it kind of steers the direction of my layout um, in a certain way, which obviously is probably for the better, rather than just letting me do it myself. Now, a lot of the comments last week were about the materials that the track was built on on the Rocky Bridge section. For example, Simo D commented, Congratulations! As a suggestion, with your scenery skills, would you not consider redoing the whole section? Using wood for the base of the track, rather than card, then you could put the scenery back around it and fill the gaps. Main Train Eastport followed up. I would use 9mm ply, to be honest. Much easier to manage and change, rather than laying track on a card. Just a tip, mate. Simon Davies also commented, while well, the track is up on the scenic bit, replace the card track bed with some plywood, so it's more like the rest of the layout, which you have on MDF. Out in the shed, the card will eventually get a bit damp and start to sag. Switching to ply now, while it's up, will make it more durable in the long term. Keep up the good work. One of my regular channel viewers, Andy Russell, he also mentioned, cardboard is not going to last in your shed. You said yourself, it is freezing and you are going to revisit this all over again in the near future if you continue in the present form. It should not take too long to make a duplicate section using half inch ply and then you will have a much more solid track bed than you will have now. That was just some of the comments I received. I'm not going to say them all on the screen. Um, apologies if I've not mentioned your comment but thank you very much if you have made a comment or suggestion in a similar sort of fashion about using cardboard under the track bed. So I have decided that the cardboard that I'm using is going. I am going to take everyone's advice on board and I'm going to fit wood as the base for the track. I have come to that conclusion after quite a bit of thought because as I've mentioned in previous videos the rocky bridge section is the first piece that I've ever built for the layout and obviously it's quite sentimental really to be honest. Um, if you are interested in how I built the Rocky Bridge section there is a link up there but I've decided that I'm going to try and keep as much of it as possible. So I'm not going to scrap it, I'm not going to rebuild it or anything like that. I do want to keep it. So a bit of modification. I'm going to use wood for the track bed and then I'm going to have it so that you can slide the Rocky Bridge section still in just underneath and everything should be fine. Joy! Now, where's my... Aha! I don't need that, do I? Um... You've been placed on hold. You've been placed on hold. Or well, Richard tidies his shed yet again. Richard is aware that you're waiting. Be with you shortly. Thank you for your patience. Your viewership is important to us. Getting back to the layout. I have cleared out the space where the rocket bridge section will go. I've removed some of the foam and the underlay from each end of the baseboard. This is so I can get a nice level join 
when I add the wood to the space. I also managed to get the wood cut for the rocky bridge section um, and all I'm going to do now is basically drop it in and make sure that there's some supports. So I'm just going to finish that off now um, and then talk to you about what's going to be happening next. Okay, so I've now replaced the rocky bridge section with a nice bit of solid wood that I'll be using for underneath the tracks. So thank you very much to everybody who has commented following up from last week's video about the rocky bridge section and the fact that I should do away with using cardboard. So I will be doing that. If you have any comments and suggestions, as I say, do drop them to me on the YouTube channel. Just drop the comment down below. I do respond to all of the comments and uh, you know I generally leave a, a reply on pretty much every single comment I get. If you are enjoying the videos then by all means hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss anything because um, obviously there will be quite a lot of updates coming uh, in the few, next few weeks uh, with what I'm going to be doing with this rocky bridge section. Mm. <laughs> also if you have any other comments or anything like that you want to hit me up on any of the other social media channels you can do all of the uh, contact details are up there I also put all of the links in the description down below as well so uh, you have got a clickable link that you can follow as well in the meantime what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to work on this rocky bridge section if you want to see what's happening with it you'll have to tune in next week not giving anything away today sorry um, what I will do is uh, uh, you can watch these videos uh, in the meantime see how the rocky bridge section was actually created in the first place uh, and another video up here as well and in the meantime watch uh, like and subscribe and i'll see you again next week thank you very much bye